Dr. John Zink, we're talking about 7 Keto and, and the benefits, the weight loss benefits that this uh, product has. Can we find this uh, 7 Keto naturally? Are there, are there any foods that we can that we can eat to, to try to help us out? Yeah, good question. We can make it from a plant source. Okay. Um, we have two ways of making it. One is we go through a synthesis process where we make it from pharmaceutical grade DHEA, which is done in a laboratory, obviously. And then we can actually go further down the chain, actually earlier in the chain, and uh, get a compound called diostenin from a uh, what's called a yam plant. So we can obtain the diostenin from the yam, use a diostenin structure to build 7-keto step by step. So you really can't eat it or find it uh, in nature other than you know from, from our company where we make it synthetically and put it in the capsule for you. And Okay. You can take it that way. Can you talk about where it's produced in the body? Though I mean, we do mm -hmm. naturally make it. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Uh, DHEA is made in the uh, adrenal gland. We have two adrenal glands okay. that sit on top of our kidneys. So the adrenal glands make the DHEA. The DHEA then circulates through the bloodstream and goes where it's basically needed, and then gets converted to things that we've talked about, like estrogen or testosterone or other uh, um, compounds that the body needs. Mm -hmm. Um, seven keto, a lot of the enzymes to convert DHEA to seven keto seem to be in the skin. So it's, as it's circulating, it'll come in contact with the enzymes that are in the capillaries of the skin, and then that reaction takes place, and, and uh, the DHEA actually gets converted to seven keto, and then the seven keto leaves the uh, capillary or leaves the tissue surrounding the capillary, and then moves okay. through the bloodstream again. So if we, if we take care of our adrenals and 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 things that will support adrenal health, will that help uh, prevent the, the decline, or is that something that's just going to be there? No, <laughs> you're stuck with that. <laughs> like taxes and You're that. stuck with that. Okay. That's something that's uh, kind of built into our DNA, and uh, a lot of people think it has to do with us moving out of our reproductive years. We simply don't need these sex hormones as much when we're 40 and 50 years old than we do when we're 20.